What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of WWE SmackDown. Shut your mouth in that season mode PS2 game, playing it through a PC emulator. And we are here once again with season mode. We had some uh, stuff yesterday, and I can't recall what it was off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I beat both Steve Austin and Rhino in a tag match. Uh, by a loss to Steve Austin in a singles match. So, let us check our roster here very briefly. Uh, I am your European champion. I'm pretty sure I'm also your uh, cruiserweight champion, but uh, it doesn't actually say that. So, do you immediately vacate that belt? Or is that still my belt? Because I don't see anybody else here on this show as the cruiserweight champion. Let me go check Raw here real quick. Got the IC, you got your tag, and you got your hardcore and your tag. And nobody else is cruiserweight. I'm going to assume I am still the cruiserweight champion. Anyway, let's kick off today here on SmackDown and see what the deal is. Uh, what the promos are. And here, normal six-man tag. I am tag teaming, dear God, with Brock Lesnar and The Rock versus RVD, Kurt Angle, and Steve Austin. Man, I just want to tag in Brock and then let him do all the damn work. Because his rating is a 99. 99. We have a guest at the world. The world what? Stacy Keebler. What the hell's the world? Are you serious? Let's go to Stacy Keebler at the world. What is the world? The world what? This isn't the... This is WWF New York is what this is. This isn't the world. And why is... What is even happening? Like, that's some... Terrible dancing? That's some terrible polygonal dancing from Stacey Keebler. I'm not sure what the point of that was. Next Sunday is the pay-per-view. How are you feeling? I'm alright. I'm doing okay. Uh-oh, it's HBK. Guess you're in the middle of something. Having some fun with the billion dollar princess? Well, I'm not really billion any... Well, at the time, I suppose it was. Just warning you. Watch out for... Vince? Don't trust her. Okay, Sean. Have fun, Sean. What? Oh, I hate that pan back. What a jerk. Anyhow, here we are once again. It is a fine Wednesday, I believe. Here is Al Snow, for some reason. Uh, and we are here to discuss video games and wrestling and uh, all things in between, I suppose. Uh, but first, let me head to the VIP and or the locker room to see if I can get these stuff to change out uh, and see if there's somebody else besides Al Snow to talk to here, because come on. Like, no disrespect to Al Snow, but there are more important folks on this roster that I could be talking to. Seriously. Seriously. Hey Vince, how about a title shot? I bet you're too busy. Yep, you are certainly too busy. How am I doing? 86 is pretty damn good. Satisfy, keep it up. That's all. What? Let's see if that changed out Al Snow for somebody else. It did! Now, can you dig that? Oh, Booker T. Well, we've already had our fateful interactions and cage matches with the Jaboni beaten, pie eaten, etc., etc. So let's go talk to Booker T. Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. Hey. King Booker! Sucker. Five time, five time, five time. Uh, what? Sorry. It's gonna ask the same thing about me. Won't you say hi? I was just, I walked up to you and hit, and hit the X button to say hi. So, I'm gonna say what? Tell me you didn't just say that. Are you trying to get fresh with the book of man? I, oh, wow, well, we're, now we're on Booker T's bad side, so that sucks. Oh now get lost, sucker. He didn't punch me, at least. Man, I never have the right response with these guys. It, it just never works out for me. So, let's go have our six-man tag match with our very unlikely tag team partners of Brock Lesnar and The Rock. So there is not too much going on in the world of wrestling news uh, this fine Wednesday morning. Here's Brock doing his little dance as the undisputed champion, looking pretty jacked. Um, certainly the big and kind of the only news story here is that Del Rio apparently has exercised a, uh, out in his contract. 
and will be done once uh, his s suspension is over. And he's just, that's it, I'm out. He had been smart enough when he re-signed, knowing when they promise you all this shit and then usually don't deliver. Uh, which was kind of the same issue with Ryback. Like, he knew that when he re-signed, that they could say, Oh yeah, main events and titles, and hey, guess what? Mex-America and League of Nations. So, that being said, uh, he had that in his contract and could opt out and leave. Uh, and with, that's obviously with this suspension, that's what he's doing. So really, this, this whole run for him has been just one wasted opportunity after another. I think certainly the dude's very talented. So it is a shame that they kind of just, you know, once again wasted him. And once again, they need their big Latin American star, right? Like, you can't bring back Mysterio again. Uh, he's getting up there in years. Uh, and he kind of looks a bit juiced himself, to be honest, looking at recent photos. Um, so, it's just kind of a matter of, you know, you spent so long not building up stars and everything else that, you know, like, obviously you, you still have... Kalisto, and you still have uh, Sin Cara, and you, you know, you, you still have some of the guys in NXT who might get there eventually, but right now, like, they bet on Del Rio again, and uh, it kind of backfired on them, so that's, that's a shame. Uh, but also, what does that mean for Paige, I suppose? Like, I, I'm not sure how much longer she has on her contract, and if she would even consider uh, leaving uh, in, in solidarity or whatever else. I, th I think she's young enough that that's kind of foolish, but, you know, people are going to do what people are going to do, so that all remains to be seen on on what they would do with her if and when, and, and certainly she's also, you know, involved with t t Total Divas and that kind of stuff, so it's a very complicated matter, to be honest. Um, Speaking of Total Divas, though, our other news bit of where we get into this match here, uh, as guys continue to come out into the ring, is the fact that there was apparently an Instagram post or Twitter post or, I don't know, something from Eva Marie, where her head or her hair was not red. It was not all red everything. It was, like, almost, you know, black and or, like, a dark blue, which I'm assuming that, that, that has to be a Photoshop. You don't build up her entire thing as all red everything for how long now to have her not have red hair anymore, and, like, people will say, well, she's not on Raw anymore, she's on SmackDown, so she should go all blue everything, and I'm like, she's a heel. It's her job to be bad and have people boo her. Of course, you'd have her come out in the Raw colors on SmackDown. Like, if you were that concerned about that kind of dumb shit, don't draft her to SmackDown in the first place, you idiots. So, that's been weird, uh, but my assumption is Photoshop and or trolling because uh, I don't think you spend this long building up the all red everything brand, and then you just you know oh you know what you're on you're on you got you got drafted, so we're just gonna make it all blue now. That's stupid. Anyway, here's the old Texas rattlesnake. Give me a hell yeah, and I really feel out of place in this match. I I tell you what, like seriously, like one of these things does 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 not belong, and it might be the guy who's the cruiserweight champion. But you know what? That's fine. I will still take the fight to Rob Van Dam and give him what for, what for. So yes, it is Wednesday and I did watch SmackDown last night and man, are they trying to ruin Heath Slater? Like that whole thing with him and Renee Young and Rhino, like granted, you know, you, you make the best of a shit situation and I can't really blame Slater on that. I think it's the writers and I think it's one of those cases where, hey, he's getting over on his own. Let's ruin it. Because that whole thing, that whole setup, is just, it went on for too long. The jokes weren't funny. Like, it was just overall kind of fucking terrible. And I felt bad because Heath Slater is awesome. And I want the best for Heath Slater. And I think he's, like, there are people, people in the audience who had signs that said, that, that, that said Heath's kids. Like, that's fantastic. Um, and, like, don't fuck it up. You, like, you have a good thing here. But WWE, you know, as we've known... Uh, for a long time here, they have have a pretty good track record of having a good thing and then ruining it. And then just totally just fucking it up. So uh, that is not surprising and would not be surprising in the least bit uh, if they managed to screw this up. Uh, but also, the Headbangers were there, as was rumored, and that was weird. But hey, they got their first match in like 16 years, and you know, that was 
I'm happy for them to, you know, have had that, hey, we're going to show our kids that we have, you know, that we are still on SmackDown. Hey, and Brock, or The Rock, or somebody, give my aunt, guys, help me out here. Seriously. Help me out here. Suplex City. I want to tag in. There we go. All right. Now, Kurt, you can deal with your undisputed... Get out of the ring, you asshole. Your undisputed champion that they're not going to let me control, which is a damn shame. Brock Lesnar, who totally has the F5 here. He just managed to get it to work before Angle hits the Angle Slam. That'd be nice. But also, Brock, you're 99. What are you doing getting your ass whipped by Kurt Angle? Like, what is going on here? And why is RVD coming in? Seriously, what the hell, RVD? He's so concerned. He's like, uh, yeah, you're fighting Brock Lesnar. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? He's the beast. Um, what? Ankle lock? No. How about no? How about do not make Brock tap out of the fucking ankle lock? God damn it, Kurt. Have a vertebraker, Kurt. Boom. On your freakishly large neck. Yes, Hebner, I'm going. Relax. Relax. So, Lesnar still has the F5. By the way. There we go. Um, Kurt uses ankle lock. Le Le Lesnar still has the F5. So, I think if he could hit that F5, that might just be it for Kurt Angle. Also, I have a salt shaker. So, that's fun. Stone Cold has two stunners now. And he's going to tag in RVD? Why, why wouldn't you tag in Stone Cold? First of all, quit fucking around here. Oops. What happened? I got Irish whipped? I didn't even see that happen. Very confusing. Very confusing. There you go, Brock. Wait. He's not doing the, um... The F5? Really? Wait, what's going on here? What? Who's 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 legal? Is Brock not... Is, is he tagged the rock? I didn't even notice. The fuck off, RVD Salt Shaker. Not even the legal man. All right, Rock. Now pin him. Pin him, Rock. Pin him. There you go. Hebner, no! One. Two. Three. Oh, come on. That was so close. That was so close. So, also on SmackDown, which was kind of in unfortunate, to be honest. You guys, quit ganging up on the Rock. Oops, I closed line Hebner out of his fucking boots. Didn't mean to do that. Um, really? Oops. Didn't mean to do that. And Hedmer's out, so... Kurt, it doesn't matter, Kurt. It doesn't matter. Rock has two finishers, so I just want to see some more rock bottoms here from The Rock. I'm sure his rating is pretty high, too. There you go, rock bottom, in the corner. Right in Austin's face. Damn you, Austin. Damn you. I mean, I. Sorry, Rock. I didn't mean it. Miscommunication. Oh, now, of course, Hebner's got me. Well, that's a fucking shame. He's gonna get in that arm breaker. Destiny! Okay. This is all just. How about you guys tag me in? Because clearly, you're bad at your job. Clearly, you're bad at your job. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, sure. Sure, Rock. Yes. Hit that, and then I will get the pin, and then we'll be done here. This will be great. Hit your people's elbow, if you smell, etc, etc. And then pinfall. Two. Three. Oh, what? Kicked out of the people's elbow. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, dear. And now, of course, I got double teamed by Austin, who has several stunners. There you go. Help me out here. How come only Rock comes in? I got three guys in here whipping my ass, and only Rock's gonna gonna get in the ring. Count ahead, but I know that he isn't legal. He isn't legal. Austin's right there. Like Austin, I had to fuck up for that to fucking work. Oh come on, ref bump again. This game has like the most ref bumps in the history of ref bumps. It is ridiculous. Pile driver. Right on his broken freaking neck. Get him! There you go. Where's where's Hebner? 
One count. Fucking one count. Kurt Angle, you get the salt shaker. Help me out, Rock. Help me out. Help me out, Rock. There we go. And the incredibly unlikely team of Brock the Rock and the Slug win that six-man tag. Proving that I can totally win a six-man tag. And here's Ric Flair. Crazy- What the hell, Flair? Relax with your old man self. Why are you whipping my ass? Jesus. Come on now. That's not really fair, is it? Like, why am I alone in the ring? Where? Well, Brock's already back to Canada. Already back to the ranch. And the Rock's back to Hollywood, so I'm just left here by my fucking lonesome. Here comes Vince McMahon, damn it! He's got great fights. Now watch Vince turn on me. That'd be hilarious. Just Vince turns, kick, stunner. Ah. Uh, gotta tell you something, McMahon. Oh, it's gonna be a street fight. That actually gives me the advantage. I don't have to worry about getting disqualified. I can just get a chair or a table or whatever and go to town. The main match is going to be a table elimination. That makes things much harder, doesn't it? Much fucking harder. Alright, well, that throws a wrench into things, doesn't it? Doesn't it? We have to ensure that Vince wins that match, I suppose. And now it is time for Survivor Series. I'm going to fight... Jeff Hardy in a... What? What? Wait. Vince is fighting Flair. I'm apparently not in that elimination match at all. I'm fighting Jeff Hardy in a cage match. I'm terrible at cage matches. Um, why am I fighting Brother Nero in a cage match and not being involved in that elimination six-man match? I'm obviously going to be in Vince's corner for his uh, street fight there. Uh, that's really fucking weird. Like, I don't understand what the booking for this stuff is. It's kind of baffling. I'm pretty sure I agreed to be in that match at some point. North Kakalaki. This isn't Smackdown, Jim Ross. Jim Ross, have you been drinking? This is Survivor Series. He said, welcome to Smackdown. What the fuck? Okay, Survivor Series. Let's see who is backstage. Can we talk to Booker T again? That seems to be the thing when you t when you t talk to a guy once, they kind of reappear. Yep, there's Booker. Booker. But let's check the locker room first, and then go talk to King Booker. Nobody in the locker room. Hey sucker. Hey sucker. Booker T knows what you want. Want to be a big star like me? Yeah, sure. I want to be five time, five time, five time. Uh, I want to team up with Booker T. Yes. Uh, I want to know how to become Booker T. Wait, there's only one Booker T. How about, how about a tag team? Booker T rose solo, sucker. Alright then, no tag team. I can dig it. I can indeed. Whoa, relax. Well, so much for forming our tag team with Booker T. Uh, if you have an amusing tag team name for what that would have been, let me know in the comments. Um, but... It would be the book slug connection or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway. How come I can't play... Um, I thought I was in Vince's corner for this match. What is going on? Where is the booking committee here? I thought I was in Vince's corner for this match. Why is the only option here skip? The fuck? The only option is skip, so I'm just gonna hit skip. That sucks. And Vince won, so... Alright, fantastic. And now I'm gonna fight Jeff Hardy... For the cruiserweight. Finally, I'm defending. Okay, I am still your cruiserweight champion. Now I'm defending this belt against Brother Nero in a cage match. And our only option is to delete, delete, delete. Now my history here in video game cage matches on this channel is fucking terrible. So we have a real conundrum here. Am I going to lose the cruiserweight belt because... Uh, I can't win at cage matches. Or, is Jeff Hardy an easy enough opponent here that if I just whip his ass enough, hit the salt shaker, and then leave the cage? So I gotta make him not leave the cage, prevent him from leaving, uh, and then hopefully uh, build up an, an, 
enough meter early on, hit that salt shaker, and then uh, make this shit happen. So, no guarantees, because certainly we've seen that I am fucking terrible at cage matches. What else is new? So, our only goal here, I'm not going to climb yet, because that seems to be a bad idea that I've done before. We're not going to climb just yet. We are going to hopefully uh, beat up Jeff Hardy enough that I can uh, get the salt shaker happening. Hit some choke slams, you know. All them moves that I do. Woo! That was terrible. That was fucking terrible. I still don't understand. If, if there's no pinfall and it's cage escape only, I don't understand why Earl Hebner has to be here. Like, he can be outside the ring. He doesn't have to be in the ring for this. Like, it's only if you escape. That's the only option. Uh, so, pile driver. So, what's the point of Earl Hebner being in the ring for this nonsense? Like, that's... You know, just little things in video games that piss me off. Like, where it should be, you know... Like, it's not hard to make it more realistic. Or, you know, more true to the product. Uh, instead of, you know, just totally fucking it up. Screw you for trying to escape, Jeff Hardy. I, I, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit over and, uh... So I'm gonna keep hitting the power driver. Pile driver. Yep, headlock. Headlock in a cage match. Good idea. So, I'm going to attempt to retain this belt here. That's my only goal right now, is retaining this belt in our last match for the day against... For the Nero, it's over. Enough with your Huracoranus, Jeff Hardy. What is wrong with you? And you're punching me in the hat. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Once again, low blow. Ding! Oops. I need a better... There we, don't roll him up. Don't give him a schoolboy. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, just punching me to death. There we go. There we go. I didn't mean to pin there, but that's just the move you have. So you, you kind of got to work with what you got. And that's all Jeff's doing. It's the same fucking move over and over again. That's all he knows how to do is, is the Hurricanrana. Like, that can't be healthy. Rever reverse! 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 Winds of change. Alright, Salt Shaker time. Salt Shaker! This should hopefully knock out for the Nero for uh, the amount of time necessary to escape. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Climb. Climb, you fool, climb, he's done. It's over. Make it, ma oh, dear God, make it. Make it, make it, oh, he shook the fucking cage. God damn it, Jeff Hardy. I don't think he's going to stay down long enough for me to do a thing again. So guess what? It's time to hit another salt shaker and not fuck it up this time. Because uh, I don't think... He, was, he would be down long enough to make a cage escape. So, that makes this match even longer. Awesome. I was hoping to be, god damn it, done by now. But now he has a finisher, so he can hit the uh, Twist of Fate or the Swanton Bomb. But, I'm going to attempt to not let that happen. Because if it does, then I'm kind of boned, to be honest. If he hits this with the tw 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 Twist of Fate or the Swanton Bomb, I am pretty much done. He knows so that, that beat down in the corner completely. Come on. Oh, God damn it. Like I said, if he hits it, it's over. I'm not getting up from this. I'm not, I had my shot, and I fucked it up. I had my shot. You're looking at your new Cruiserweight champion, Jeff Hardy. Well, I suppose I have been deleted by Brother Nero. That's unfortunate. But hey, I'm still European champion. Rob Van Dam, Ric Flair's Raw, won the elimination match. I wasn't even a part of that, so this will give Ric Flair total control over both shows. I didn't even have an option to be part of that. Like, that shit made no sense. Oh no. They're beating up Vince McMahon. Why? This is horrible. This could be the end of a long battle. I mean, it's been going on for a little bit here. So I guess Ric Flair owns both shows now. Uh, what does that mean? As someone who punched Ric Flair in the mouth at one time, what does that mean? What's up, HBK? It's Shawn Michaels. Oh, 
It's you, slug. I'm leaving today. It's what I've got to do. You haven't done anything since you've got here. Dot, dot, dot. To be honest, fuck this show. Uh, I was your enemy, but you had a really great match. Get the hell out of my way, you loser. I respect you, too. First of all, I lost to Jeff Hardy. Second of all, what? Thanks, that means a lot. Like, you can't not respect one of the greatest of all time, Shawn Michaels. Come on now. The showstopper. The main event. So, Hardcore Holly, Brock Lesnar, and The Rock, which you would think is the SmackDown team. One, according to this screen here, one against Booker T, Kurt Angle, and Steve Austin. So, number one, RVD, not even in that match, right? Number two, they just told us that Raw won and SmackDown lost and Ric Flair is in charge of both shows now. Even though this screen here says that Holly, Lesnar, and The Rock won and they're all on SmackDown. What? What? At least the stuff in Here Comes the Pain made some kind of logistical sense. This is just a fucking nightmare. Anyway, we'll find out the follow-up. We'll find out the follow-up to that nightmare tomorrow. So tune in for that, because I honestly, I don't know where it goes from here. So I'm really very fucking curious. So until then, until next time, as always, I am your host, Taxla. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.